Jason Phillips here, founder of the Nutritional Coaching Institute, and today we are talking how to minimize metabolic adaptation while in a calorie deficit. And this is an interesting topic because the simple reality is, metabolically speaking, you will and you should begin adapting as soon as you undertake a calorie deficit. And I think it's important that we draw a distinction as nutrition coaches. I think that the words metabolic adaptation are thrown around as the worst thing in the world. And obviously we don't want our clients getting to a state of being metabolically adapted, but we must understand as coaches that metabolic adaptations are very normal. And to illustrate that, you know, if we took somebody who has no dietary history, who let's just arbitrarily say their daily energy expenditure is 2,500 calories and we begin them at 2,000 calories, which is a very appropriate calorie deficit, we should see things start to happen over a short period of time like hunger. We will start to see the propensity for NEAT come down. Over a longer period of time, as they're in that deficit more and more, we're gonna see strength levels probably come down. At the very least, we're gonna see energy levels come down. And as they get leaner and leaner and they get further and further away from homeostasis and or set point, we are going to see more and more metabolic adaptations take place. Anyone that's done a bodybuilding show or done some severe body composition uh, changes is gonna be able to tell you sleep will be affected, mood will be affected, sex drive will be affected. That is normal. We should not be trying to avoid that. And the more that we're trying to avoid that as a regular occurrence, I think the more we're throwing wrenches in this process when we really don't have to. What we're really talking about here though is how do we avoid that as becoming the permanent state of our clients? How do we get clients out of having low sex drive for a long period of time? How do we make sure that clients can maintain quality sleep for as long as possible? throughout the process. How do we restore hunger signals? And that's exactly what I wanna discuss here. Now, uh, when we look at this, there's several ways to do so. And the first thing we have to understand is who is the client? Every client is going to have a different rate and a different degree of what's called adaptive thermogenesis, right? For me, myself, I'm a very hyper adapter. You put me in a deficit, I'll lose a significant amount of weight very quickly, and then boom, I'm gonna plateau out. Now, some people, you can put them in a deficit, you can leave them there for 12 weeks, and they're gonna keep losing weight every single week. That's just the adaptive nature of individual metabolism, and we must understand that as coaches. But how do we mitigate that? Well, when, if you take somebody like myself, who's a hyper adapter, we're gonna get into a calorie deficit, and we're probably going to have very frequent restorations of maintenance calories. Now that could be done through a single day refeed in the beginning. That could be done through a multiple day refeed. This could be done through a matador protocol and I'll explain each of those. Now the first would be we go six days in a deficit. The seventh day we use maintenance calories. Very simple, very easy to understand. The next could be a multiple day refeed. And I've seen this done two ways. Science would tell us that the best way to structure a refeed is a minimum of 48 hours. This is what's going to have the most profound effect on restoration of metabolic hormones, leptin, ghrelin, things like that. So we would go two back-to-back -back days of maintenance calories with five consecutive days in a deficit. But I've also seen it structured empirically, and we can't ignore empirical data as coaches. We can't only live by what science tells us. We have to actually look at what has worked over time in the world. And, and I've seen things like on Mondays and Thursdays or, or two non-consecutive days in the week, we have restorations of maintenance calories. And, and honestly, I've used that protocol with myself, with clients and with great success. You know, this, this may also be to facilitate more compliance. You know, one thing I told you I'm a hyper adapter. I'm also a little ADD with my food. I don't like to eat the same macros every single day. And so sometimes that undulating macro prescription, higher on Monday, lower on Tuesday, Wednesday, higher on Thursday, lower Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's something that's appealing to me. It keeps me interesting, it keeps me engaged, it keeps me compliant. And when I'm compliant, I know I can create success. Now, the Matador Protocol is a study that was done where they use a very aggressive, I believe it was right around 30% calorie deficit for two weeks at a time. And then they went back to two weeks of maintenance calories. And they showed that time in a deficit, so meaning if we took somebody in a deficit for 10 straight weeks, or we used a Matador protocol where they were in a deficit for two weeks, out of deficit for two weeks, so 20 weeks, that over the 20 weeks, the time in the deficit, the response was actually better for the individuals who had more restorations of maintenance or, or the individuals that used the Matador protocol. Uh, so this also has efficacy. But long-term, you have to be asking yourself, if I am trying to take a client to the results, if this is going to be a prolonged process in a calorie deficit, am I having semi-frequent diet breaks? Am I semi-frequently 
restoring maintenance, restoring that homeostatic balance, and again, guarding against those metabolic adaptations. It's extremely important to remember the body is probably the most sophisticated human defense system in the world. It guards as closely as possible against fat loss, and you have to know how to beat those metabolic adaptations. Now, if this was at all interesting to you, uh, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to give me a like, I want you to go ahead and subscribe, and most importantly, I want you to click the link below this video. That is what we call our nutrition coaching cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. It's a collection of everything I have used with my clients and with the coaches that I've helped certify to help other clients. And it's everything that you need in terms of education, application, and yes, even the ability to grow that business so you can further your impact. So make sure you click that link and get your copy. And as always, my friends, from me to you, I appreciate you and I thank you for choosing impact over everything.